Assembly is the name given to the section in which all the parts that compose the upper and the sole are united in order to construct the shoe. There are several ways of doing this union. Each one is designated with a type of construction and in any case we will have an own sequence of operations of assembly of the upper on the last associated to a certain method of fixation of the sole. A method of assembly of the upper can be combined with one or several methods of fixation of the sole originating like this a variety of types of construction. Each type of construction is associated to a certain group of characteristics related with the use, the fashion, the price, that will condition its choice for the producer shoe. We will speak about these characteristics in particular for each one of the construction types presented. Cemented construction system. Hereby are presented the main operations of the cemented assembly system. To fasten the inner sole to the last, to set up the upper over the last, to cement the sole to the upper, last pulling. In this construction system, there is a direct fixation of the upper to the sole through the cementing. Construction process. The first phase consists of the preparation of the upper. Here we describe the main operations to execute in this system. Placement of the stiffener. In order that the upper gains shape, it is necessary to place reinforcement in the back part of the shoe, which is usually designated by stiffener. The placement of the reinforcement has its purpose to give firmness to the shoe after it has been removed from the last. Later, the stiffener is molded by heat and cold in a back counter molding machine. Placement of the toe puff. The toe puff is applied between the skin and the lining and different kinds of toe puffs may be used. Cementing of the linings. After the placement of the stiffener and of the toe puff, we have to proceed to the cementing of the linings to the upper. For the execution of this operation, several work methods can be used, applying glue manually with brush and manual cementing or even applying glue with pistol and cementing linings through the application of heat. The second phase consists on the fixation of the sole to the upper. Here we describe the operations to execute in this system. To fasten the inner sole to the last. The inner sole is placed in the base of the last and it should be correctly dimensioned in order to stay right at the corner of the last. Pulling and lasting toes. This operation is usually preceded by the operation of placing the uppers on the last in the humidifier. The operation of setting up toes nowadays is made mechanically. The upper is placed on the last and here there is to enhance that it is necessary that the employee positions correctly the upper on the last, having attention to the following points. Verify in the upper if the area of the toe is well centered on the last. Verify that the back counter's height is correct using as indicated the demarcation that is usually done on the last. Only after the verification of these points we can drive the machine to close the area of the toe. Usually this operation is preceded by an operation of reactivation of the area of the toe. Depending on the type of skin, the upper can be reactivated using humidification or only heat. Sides and seat blasting. Just as the previous operation before executing the operation of closing shoe, sides and seats, it is necessary to proceed to the reactivation of the stiffness so that it is possible to mold and seal correctly the area of the seats. This phase will allow to close the shoe from the area of the shoe sides until the seat. For the correct execution of the operation, it is necessary that the height of the back counters is verified on the last and if necessary to readjust the height. For us to consider the correct execution of the operation, it is necessary that the back counters are correctly sealed to the last, the height of the back counters is correct, the gaff is correctly centered. To rough the assembly base. After the execution of the operations of closing the upper on the inner sole, it is necessary to prepare the upper for the cementing of the sole. Usually this operation is made with fluffing and shoe bottom roughing machines. Nowadays, there already exist automated systems that make the roughing operation without the direct intervention of the employee. 
The objective of the execution of this operation is to create a larger contact area so that the cementing is made in the best conditions. In order to consider the roughing correctly executed, it is necessary that the roughing stays at the corner of the last in the case of soles that don't possess box. Roughing is not shown after the application of the sole. To apply glue to the assembly base and to apply glue to the sole. This operation consists of the preparation of the materials for the fixation of the sole to the shoe. The type of materials used in the upper and in the sole defines the work process to use in this operation. A lot of times it is necessary to apply primary in the two components before proceeding to the operation of applying glue. Apart what was referred and depending on the material of the sole, it can be necessary to proceed to the washing of the soles chemically or mechanically. To assure the correct execution of this operation, it is necessary to verify the upper and sole are not dirty with glue, the glue was well spread in the upper and in the sole. To cement the sole to the upper. After the reactivation of the sole and of the upper, the employee centers manually the sole to the uppers and later the shoe is placed in a press for the execution of the pressing. To pull the last. This operation is the last to execute in the chain of assembly operations. In this phase, we can see the concluded the execution of the assembly and the shoe is ready to transit for the finish.